what's the character arrays and the string. So the character array, the, the array, you know, the, we actually reserve you know, the multiple rooms for the character variables. So if we declare character A10, that means we're going to reserve you know, 10 spaces for character types of vari uh, character type of some data. But importantly, string is a character array that ends with the null character, backslash zero. So that, that null character actually marks the end of a string. So without, uh, for example, if we declare you know, in this way, this is you know, the normal character array. So N, E, Y, W, and Y, O, R, K. So in order to you know, the print out or in order to use the contents of this uh, A, we should know how many characters it has. For example, if we want to print out, we should, we should you know, the repeat the printing each element of A eight times because A is the length of the, you know, the content. So we need to know what's the length of the, you know, the, this uh, sentence or you know, this you know, the array of characters. However, it is very inconvenient. So in order to make it easy, so the string, string is you know, the actual character array that ends with the null mark. So, 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 so starting from the, you know, the first point, and just you know the uh, repeating until we face the uh, null character. Then we know if we face the null character, okay, that's the, you know, the end of the, you know, the this string. So in this way, we we do not have to know the length of the <coughs> uh, total string. So in this way, we can actually use so repeat. So the so the re by repeating, we print out each element of B until that B is not. The, you know, the null character. So this one, this one is equivalent to the, you know, the we can simply, simply um, express using the printf and percent %s. Uh, so in order to get a string, we use scan and percent %s, but the problem is we cannot get the string with the space. So for that problem, we actually has the uh, uh, we can use this get as, uh, get as functions. This get as functions. So get as function is so we uh, we declare line here. So the line is the eighty one spaces. Then using the this get as function, we can actually get the, you know, the string with, the, with any uh, characters. Uh, but the problem, but the important thing is here, uh, because the, our reserved space is 81, and the last one is should be used by the, the null character. So this line only takes uh, maximally 80 characters, right? Because the last one should be used by the null, null, null character. So when you input. So the, you need to be careful that your input is only you know, less than or equal to 80. Uh, but, but this is your hope. But in some cases, in my... Uh, so, uh, so sometimes you, know, you may you know, the input you know, more than 81 or, or, or more than you know, the buffer size or you know, the, the size of the, you know, the, your reserved space. So, in order to prevent this, uh, did we practice this one? Did we practice this one or not? No, I don't think so. Okay, so the, here, the exercise is we want to implement safe getS using getCHAR. So, this safe getS actually uh, check the number of lines, uh, so the number of characters that is actually uh, inputted. Then, if that input is more than you know, the specific buffer size or you know the specific size of the you know the storage in this case the ten, uh, then it actually makes an error. For example, if we put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then it's an in total nine characters. So, so, so we can input you know the this character. So, so if we if one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, and press enter. 
Then it shows, then it read this one uh, using, the, using our implementation of, of save get as. Then it store this string in this you know, the, uh, character array of a line. Then print out again using percent %s, print f and percent %s. So if it's a 10, it also uh, print out, get an input and the print out. But if it's more than 10, then it, mm, mm, then it actually shows you the error, error message by checking. So please, so the, so the, this is a you know, so side, you know, it's a kind of you know, the get as function, but user get as, but you know, the already implemented the standard get as, they do not have the you know, function to check the, you know, the length of the input the string. So please implement your own safe get as using getchar. So the example is here. The, the, the example of the, you know, the implementation of get as using getchar is here. So by looking at this one, then please implement safe get as. So because we have, we have you know, the, the many things to go out, so let me. So the, if you need a more time, please do it at your home. But let's see you know, what I have. What I had. Um, okay, here. Okay, this. So the, this is my implementation. So the, everything is you know, the very similar. Everything is very similar. Uh, but. You know, there's you know, the many way to implement it, but this is you know, the you know, little bit different way to implement it. Uh, basically, basically, what you have to do is okay. So in here, in this you know you know the sample, this is an implementation of get as using get char. But here, there it doesn't check the, you know the what's the what's the, you know you know the number of you know, the input the character. Which means what's the NC? So, so here we just put the you know the, the code that check the, you know, whether NC is larger than or equal to this you know the limited size. So then that's enough. But uh, I actually make you the little bit different code, which is uh, like this one. So it's simple. So actually, instead of do while, I use while statement. In the while statement is given in this way. Uh, in the condition is written in this way. So let me let's check what's the, what does it mean. It actually using get char we we read one character. Then we store to the C here, and by put uh, parentheses here, the whole value of this one becomes C. The value of this one is C. Then we check if this C is equal, so is equal or not to the backslash so new line. So if it's a new line, we just you know the stop the loop. However, it's, it, if it's not the, the new line because it's you know, the input, so we you know the, the deep, we store this C to the line here. But before we you know, the, uh, put the, this the character to the, you know, the, this line, so we here, we check the length. That length is here noted by n. So if n is larger than 9, which means if n is become 10, 10 we say, OK, it, it, there is you know, the, you know, too, many, uh, too many numbers. So we put the error here. Then by using the break, we stop the code. However, if, if, it, if it's not larger than 9, so if it's 9, it is OK. So here, uh, if it's 9, so the 9 actually, so if the index is 9, that means it hit the 10th you know, character. So, the, so the, up to 10th character, we actually put the um, input the character to the line. Then the repeat it. And here at the end, the other, other ended one is you know, the end. So at the end, we put the, you know, the, you know, the null character, then we complete the A string. So here, and in order to print out, if, if this error is marked, 
So error is initially you know, setting it at zero. So if if it doesn't face doesn't go to the you know, this code, error is still zero. So we print out the line. So the, using percent x. However, if this error is one, we put the error here. We actually print out the error because of this code. So uh, actually, so the, you can implement uh, simply using this code by just check you know, the, the NC, by just, just check the, the NC in this code, but that's, that is simple. But you can also implement it in a little bit deeper style. Okay? Um, it wouldn't be that difficult. Okay, so the, this is the, another exercise. So the, this, in this exercise, uh, please get a, string, get a string from the keyboard. Okay? So the using the get simply please use get s by put the you know the enough you know the buffer size enough you know the storage size like the 100 or, or 200. Then then what you have to do is please convert convert every large characters to the small one and every small one to, to large ones. So for example, if you put the, okay my birthday is February. 29th, one time every four years. That's very sad. Uh, so the, if you put you know the such a and then you know, the end bar, if you put you know you know the such a sentence, then the the printed sentence should be small m and large y small b dash because this dash is not the uh, you know the alphabet, so we just put the dash and the large D A Y and the large I S and because this is large F should be small F here like this. So please implement you know, this code. So the so the, what I want to do uh, what I want you to do is uh, please you know the store uh, get an input using the get S function then then please change the each element of the you know the that inputted you know the character array if it's uh, you know the by converting then print out the converted line converted string using print f function with the percent x uh, I think you, know, you can do that because I think you already know how to change how to convert the small one to the large one and the large one to the small one. Okay, so please go ahead. You already done this one, but some need, so but some still need some time. But okay, so the, if you have more time, please do it at your home. Let me check. So then let's check you know, what I have for this one. Okay, so here is my implementation. So in here. So I first declare two character array. One is input 128, 128 in order to make the enough uh, space. And I also make the output 128 or so and the integer i. And using the get s function, I get the input. I get the input. Then by repeating the for loop, by repeating the for loop, so technically you can use a while, you can use a do while, you can use anything else, but here I use a for. Uh, for the for loop, I start from i is 0, then I repeat it until I base null character, which is the end of the string. Right? So the I, I, I repeat it, repeat it, you know, the, this uh, body part for the all characters until I base the, you know, the, the null character, which means the end of the string. So when I put the, you know, this my birthday is blah, 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 blah. So I repeat it from the i is 0, i 1, i 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, until after this you know, the end mark, then next character is a null character. So until I base this null character by increasing i one by one, then I you know, the, perform this convergence. Then for each of the, the input i, so this input i is you know, the character, just a character, uh, right? So the, for example, if i is 0, 
then this input i is large m. This is just a large m, right? If i is one, that's a, you know the small y. Okay? So if this input i is larger than or equal to a, and it is larger than, less than or equal to large g, um, as I keep explaining, these characters are actually stored as a number in the uh, in the computer. So when we use you know the large a, it is recognize a certain number that is assigned to this uh, large a. Definitely, you can find out that number, but you don't have to know that number because this large a is just equivalent to that number. So uh, you don't have to know what's the exact uh, the decimal number. So you, you just express, okay, this input i should be between large a and large g. Then this input i is something large alphabet character. So if it's a large alphabet character, we should convert it to the small character. And how can you do that? We just you know, the make a shift by the, uh, by the, you know, the difference between large A and the small A. So by minus small A and by plus the uh, minus large A and the plus small A. So the, in this way, we can actually shift this uh, character to the small character domains, small character ranges. So the, we already discussed you know, the, this type of conversion in you know, the uh, several classes uh, several weeks ago. So I believe you already know about this one. Then it's the same. So if it's you know, the between, if it's a you know, small alphabet, then we just convert it to the larger. One. Otherwise, we just put it in the same one. And at the end. We, we put the, you know, the null character to mark the end of the string, then we print out. Then that's it. So it's not that difficult, I believe. All right, so the, then uh, the, let me a little bit discuss about the string arrays. String arrays. So up to now, we only consider you know, the only one string, one string. But we can actually make you know, the, uh, many strings as an array. But importantly, a string is one-dimensional character array, right? String is a one-dimensional character array. That means a string array is array of array, which is two-dimensional array. That is a two-dimensional array. So, so let's look at here. So string array SA is declared by two-dimensional array, 5 and 50. That means it has you know the, the uh, one dimension array of which size 50, then it has you know, the five such arrays. One array has a uh, length of 50 here. Length of 50. And we have such a the five such arrays. Then then the initialization is like that. Using this curly bracket, we use here. So my the first string gonna be a pink, a pink. So that means a pink use one, two, three, four, five, six, six character plus null character in total seven characters among the you know you know the, you know, the spaces and the rest of the spaces are the you know the remains as empty. So the, this one is you know, the, for the SA0. So when you use SA0, in this case, SA0 itself represents one dimensional array, which is a string. So SA0 is A pink, string A pink. Then SA1, SA1 is girl's generation. It's a similar. SA2 is a car. SA3 is a uh, crayon pop. SA4 is sister. So in this way, we can make you know, the, the character arrays. Okay, I think you know. So it's a you know, two dimensional array. So two dimensional array is a kind of matrix. Okay, and then matrix, each row is one string. And each row is one string. So this is the array of the strings. 
Then, no, then here, the, this um, uh, example program is actually count how many alphabets each string has. So in order to do that, we actually repeat from the five arrays. So, and I started from the i equal zero to the i is less than five. Then, then for the, you, you know, each of, each of them, so we count how many alphabets they have. So for example, pink, A pink has five alphabets, right? Because in the space, space is the alphabet, so A, P, I, and K, five alphabets. So by repeating the whole loop, which is J is from 0 to, so the, each SAI is a character array. So SAI, SAJ, SAI, J is a one character. So until this character is not the normal, then you can investigate each character if that character is alphabet or not. So if it's alphabet, this is, so NC is a counter, so NC increases by 1. So finally, we print out percent S has percent D alphabets, and in order to print out this percent S, we use SAI, because SAI itself represents you know, a string. Then we represent NC, that's a character. Uh, so this is you know, the use of the, the character arrays. So please you know, implement this you know, hidden box. Then please count you know, how many alphabets they have. So the, then the, this is the expected output. Okay, so please go ahead and practice these separate examples. So what color we print out? If we use you know, this this one, what color we print out for the the character? Character a string array of this essay, what will be printed out by by this statement? Small a, it's a small a. When you have okay, so let me explain why it makes small a. So this one, a pink is for the s zero, s a zero. And this one is SA1, and color is SA2. And in the color, okay, this one is SA20, this A is SA21, R is SA22, and this small A is SA23. You got it? <coughs> this, so that's why in this case we print out S small a of car. Yourself. Once you've done you know, you know, this example, um, okay, so once you've done this, this, this example, please you know, the, uh, do this one, this you know, the next example. Next example is we want to get uh, you know, the, some multiple lines, like a twinkle, twinkle. Uh, there's a typo here, twinkle twinkle little star, how I wonder when you are, up above the world so high, something like that. <coughs> then this, you know, the, you know, the multiple lines can be read by you know, get as functions, by, re by repeating, you know, the get as functions like this. Then, then here, because by counting ns, we can, we can count you know, how many sentences we have. So in total, we have three sentences. Then please fill out you know, the certain uh, this code in order to count how many words we have and how many characters with spaces and how many characters with out spaces. <coughs> so the please you know, the count this. Please you know, the, the try you know, the, 
there are the code for this. Uh, because it's uh, already 10.24, so the let's have a the, the, uh, brief break and let's get to here at 10.40, okay? So the, let me briefly explain what I, what I have to first to calculate number of characters here. So, so it's, it's simple, you see? So here, so the, for the out of four loop, out of four loop, so the when for i, it is repeated by five times to access each string, okay? Then for each string, I check, because in the, that string is represented by SAI, so that means SAI, J is the one character of the, of the string. So, I repeat it for the SAI, I is a string, so until that the character is not the null character, then count if that, uh, if SAIJ is between small a and small j, that's a character, so I increase count. Increase count. And if it's also you know, the large character, I also increase count. Then in this way, I can count the how many RMS each sentence has. Here. Oops. So I, I really you know the strongly uh, encourage you to you know, practice this these examples in your home. So for example here, using the get as function, we got the you know, <coughs> so we got the you know, the array. Uh, we got the, you know, the multiple uh, strings from the keyboard. So in here, because I declare as 1050, so maximumly I can get uh, 10 sentences, 10 sentences. So the, by using the, this while loop, uh, I you know, got you know, the, the one strings, one strings one by one. Then if you know, the first character is a null character, which means if I just put the enter, just, just put enter, that means uh, we just you know, input the you know, empty, empty string. That empty string means the first character is a null character, right? There's nothing. So the first character is a null, null character. That's an empty string. There's no character at all. So if, if it's a null character, then it's a break. Then in total, I have NS sentences. Okay? I have NS sentences. All right. So here, then uh, I want to count the number of words and the number of characters with the space and number of characters with the out space. So here, then using this you know, out of again out of four loop is you know the each sentence, and the inner four loop is uh, for the one sentence. Then by investigating you know, each characters and using this you know, for loop and uh, by checking you know, the null character condition, then each one, each character, because it includes the space, uh, because it, it includes the space, so I count you know, every characters. That's NC1. So for each loop, I, I increase NC1. Okay? Then, then again, uh, Okay, so the so the trick here is something you know some you know the tricks. So if if a character is a space, if if we base a space, that means we know okay that's the one word, right? So whenever we base space, that's the one word actually indicate one word because word is separated by space. So if you know the what a character is equal to the space, then we increase one word. Well, so the, here, this is one word, and if we base this space, this is another word, and if this space this is another word. Then, in you know, order to consider the last word, here I increase a, a w at the end. So in this way, I can count you know, the number of words. And the number of you know, the characters without space, that, that is, if it's not space, I increase the count. Then, then I can count you know, the characters without space. Then I'm sure. 
Okay? So, okay, so please, you know, the, uh, please check you know, these examples and uh, practice in your home if you do not have time in the class. Alright, then. <coughs> With the streets. Uh, importantly, very importantly, operation itself is not string. It's not string. Operation itself is not string. That means, okay, so when we declare, declare this you know, the character array, so the string, so the string is the character array. String, so the character array is an array. It's not the data type. So when we declare this array or string here, we can initialize. They are not allowed. So S1 is initialized, but all you need is love. And S2 is also can be initialized, like a come together. Uh, but, but because it's not the data type, we cannot use, okay, S1 is equal to yellow summary. This kind of you know, statement, it's not allowed. It's an error. It, it makes an error. We cannot use it in, in, in this way because it's not the data type. We cannot just assign this S1, uh, assign to S1, you know, this is you know, the yellow so this string. It's not allowed. So similarly, S2 equals S1. Usually, this means, so the copy the value of S1 to S2. But, because S2 and S1, they are not the, not the data type, they are the array, it's not allowed to neither. And again, this comparison is not allowed to allow the neither. And this kind of you know, you know, the, uh, the addition, or you know, I don't know what the addition means uh, in the sentence, but they are not allowed. So if you actually want to make, so the, for example, uh, literally this one. This one means we want to put yellow submarine to the, you know, this S1 array. You know, to that, we should have we should, you know, the change characters one by one, like S10 is a large Y, and S11 is a small E, and blah, 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 at the end, we need to put the you know, null character. So, in this case, in this way, we actually assign the values one by one, one character by one, one character. And, you know, to the second one, you know, to copy the value of S1 to S2, it's a similarly, we have to copy the like, one character by one. In this way, by using this for loop, we actually put, you know, the, the this you know, assign with you know, each character of S2 with you know, the each character of S1, like this for loop. So this uh, use of this kind, you know, this you know, the or, uh, array itself, they are not allowed. We should use you know, character by characters. Okay. You got it? Uh, but, but, definitely, this kind of you know, stuff is very inconvenient. So, the, so the, okay, so this kind of, you know, the, uh, you know, the coding, it's not efficient, it's very, you know, the, it's not good. So, because of this reason, so, the C library, standard library, already provides the very useful functions to handle the strings. These are, they are all defined in string.h. So in order to use these functions, we need to include the sharp include string h. Then these functions are like the str and the string length s. Yes. It actually get a length of the string. Length of the string. Length of the string is number of characters beside exact null character. So for example, number of character in A pink is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the uh, character string length. Okay? Include the space, include whatever, but exact null, null, null character. Then, strcat. It means concatenate. Concatenation means you know the we just you know the uh, you know the you know the concatenate the concatenation you know, the make as a, you know the consecutive sequence. 
That means we first put the S1, then we just put the emulator S2 at the end of S1. Then we store it to the S1. That's STRCAT. That is similar to S1 is equal to S2 plus S1. So, that's what Okay, then STR CPY, string copy. String copy means, uh, okay, it means we want to copy S2 to the S1, S2 to the S1. So, so uh, S1 is a destination and S2 is source. So we copy the value of S2 to the S1. S2 is the source. So that means we copy the value of S2 to the S1. S2 to the S1. So, S, so that's a string copy. String copy is copy the value of S2 to the S1. And string compare. String compare is actually we compare with the S1 and S2. And what does it mean to compare to string? That is, we want to Check which one is you know the shown later in the order of the dictionary. In the order of the dictionary. So for example, so that that is you know the, we call it the lexical graphical or you know, the, the dictionary orders. Uh, that means if S1 is exactly the same with S2, this the result of this string compare is zero. So if it's zero. Two strings are the same. However, it actually make one if if uh, S1 uh, S1 is after S2. So which means if S1 is you know, the large than S2, that means if S1 is shown up after S2 in the lexical graphical order, then it show then it provided number of one, positive number, and negative number in the other way, if S1 is less than S2. Actually, it calculates something like S1 minus S2. So in the order of the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the dictionary order, if they are the same, with the same character, this same string, then number will be zero. So that's why it will zero. So if S1 is larger than S2, that means S1 showed up later than S2, then it makes you a positive number. That number is 1 in this case. The other way around, if S1 is smaller than S2, that means S1 showed up first than S2, then it provides you the negative number. That is minus 1 here. So, so the, this uh, string H provides you the several useful functions like this. So here, here we can actually you know, practice the examples. So for example, in here, uh, we actually get the two strings, get S, using get S and store it, S1 and S2. And here, uh, as an example, I actually put the Haraku and the Hyori. Haraku is with S1, the Hyori is S2, stored S2. Then here, First, I I calculate I printed out S1 and STR and the end of S1. So this S1 is printed by using percent S here. Then this string length of S1, definitely because it's the length of a string, that's an integer type, so it is printed by percent D. So here, 
by percent S equal to S1, we print out Haragu and the length of the Haragu, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? Then here, Hyori, H, Y, O, R, I, N, 6 characters, so 6. Then here, we actually compare S1 and S2. S1 and S2. Then, Hyodo, what's the result of a string compare and S1 and S2? So by comparing Harago and Hyori, which one comes first in the dictionary order? In the dictionary, Harago comes first, then Hyori. Right? Am I right? Yes, because this is the HA and this is the HY. So, Harago is less than Hyori. So that's what the result is minus one. Okay, because uh, Harago comes first. So when you do string compare S1 and S2, the result is minus one. All right, then let's see the next. <coughs> next is string concatenate. Concatenate. So we want to do the string concatenate here. STRCAT S1, S2. Then, string concatenate is, we just you know, attach S2 after S1, then that, you know, the, you know, the long string is stored in S1 again. Okay. In S1 again. Okay. So, when you print out S1 and the length of S1, that is Haraku, and this is Hyori. Hyori is originally S2, but by this string, Cat, string CAT, this human is attached to the after Harago. So total string is Harago Hyori. Then total length of the string is 13 because we add this one and this, this one. But S2, there's no change in S2. Only S1 has been changed. Okay? Okay? Then Next, we test string copy. String copy. String copy. We string. We copy the string. Uh, S two. So the string copy means we copy the value of S two to the S one. So after you know the proper this string copy S one S two, S one's value is changed to the S two's value. Which is the theory. So S1 and S2 both are become theory in, in this case. Okay? So this is you know, the important examples of the, uh, of the, you know, you know, you know, the use of the string. Alright? Uh, it's quite important here. Uh, okay? Here. Um, okay, so please. Uh, I don't know whether you, we have a time to do this one, uh, this exercise, but please try to think about you know, the, how we can do this uh, exercise you know, by yourself. Uh, first one is, uh, this, this example is uh, you know, the, simply get you know, strings, get you know, strings from the keyboard, like uh, the Gia Tigers. Is, it, is, it, is this still Gia Tigers? Yes, all right. In old days, it's in the Hete Tigers, but here Tigers. And uh, if you look at Samsung Lions and Obi Bears, it's not Obi Bears you know, anymore, it's the uh, Dutsan Bears, and SK Vipers and Hanha Eagles, then the, out then the output should be sorted, sorted output in the dictionary order, which means Hanha Eagles is the first, then Gia Tigers, then Obi Bears, and SK Vipers, then Samsung Lions. Uh, you may be a little bit confused because of SK first then SA. Uh, that is because in the uh, in the C, uh, large characters always come first than the small characters in the C. So it's not exactly the dictionary order. So that's why we use the lexical grammatical order. So anyway, so this is a sort. So you can do this one because first you know how to get a multiple multiple strings from the previous example. So from this example, we know, you know, 
you know, you, we already have a code, you know, how we can get the, the multiple code, multiple strings from the keyboard. Then, next one is we need to sort. Sort, sort, you know, these strings. In order to sort, you may remember that, you know, you know, you know, the, you know the, uh, the sorting algorithms. In order to sort, we need to compare which one comes first than the other one. That comparison, we can we can check that you know the order using the string compare function. Then then we need to also swap the values, right? In order to, in order to swap the value, we can use you know, the string copy. String copy actually you know, assign the values to them. So string compare, string copy, and whatever you can actually in, so you already know everything you need to do this exercise. So uh, if you understand you know, all the use of these string functions, please do it by yourself. Uh, at this time, uh, this problem, okay? Uh, motivation to do this one. So, uh, okay, so until 10 minutes, so, the, so this, right now, you know, the 10, uh, 11, 25, 25, so until you know, 11, 35, if you can complete you know, this assignment, I'll give you know, the bonus point that can be reflected by the, the, by the score. Maybe almost corresponding to the, the one quiz problem. Uh, so if you, you know, finish this one, please raise your hand and uh, um, to let me, then you know, I can check. It. So please go ahead. So similarly, so this is you know, the same code for the to get our inputs and to get you know, the multiple strings as an input. So I actually assign some string, so the string arrays as a double arrays, S20 and uh, okay, so, the, so the, it, it's good to you know, take a picture, but please do not you know, the hide that video camera. So please take a picture in this side and the other side. So do not block the camera, please. All right, so anyway, so we actually declare you know, the two dimensional array, so the 20 and 120, which means we can actually maximally we can get you know, 20 strings, and each string can have up to you know, the two uh, 127 characters. Characters. Then I also make you know the some temporal uh, array, so the so, so, so temporal string arrays, one array. So the, let's see you know, what's the result of this one. Then first, using the while loop, so the while the ns is less than 20, I actually get a, you know, the strings. And I store that string as, initially ns is 0 here, so the first string when I store the s0. So s0 is again, so the a character array, or the one string, that can have 127 characters. Then I repeat it until, if you know the null you know, character, Null string. So if we just you know, put the enter, then you know the that's you know we put the empty string. The empty string means the first character is there's a nothing. Then the first character is you know the null character, right? So because you know, the every string should end with the null, then if the first character is a null, then that's an empty string. There's a nothing. There's a nothing. In this case, we break. So the we actually stop to the get the inputs. Then in this way, we can get the, you know the and as a strings. Then they are stored in this you know, the, uh, double uh, two dimensional array of S. Then in this part, this part is sorting. This part is sorting. So sorting algorithm again, so I explained in you know, the last uh, class, the sorting algorithm again, we actually repeat it from 0 to NS. Then then I also you know, the, you know, compare uh, that means we want to compare the string at the, where is the mouse point? Uh, compare at the, you know, the i. Then I want to compare for this i all the j's that front of the i. So that means j is 0 to the until you know, the less than i. So the from 0 to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 until i minus 1. For that j, we compare between string i and the string j using string compare string compare okay Us using the string compare 
then still compare it to this the result is less than zero, which means Sj is larger than Si. Okay? Mm, Alright, so, so in this case, we need to swap. Swap the Sj and Si. Okay? Then, then in order to swap, we, we use you know, you know, the string copy. String copy. So the string copy means we want to swap, we want to exchange the value, which means we want to store SJ's value to S1, uh, SI, and SI's value to the SJ. Okay? So in order to do that, we first copy SI's value to temp, then SJ's value to SI, then this temp has the SI's value, so SI's string is copied to the SJ. So in this way, it's as swap. So, so the, this is the, you know, the, you know, the typical sorting algorithms. Then we just apply this sorting algorithm to the uh, the, uh, the strings. Then, then we just show up the result si. So, so, so the, this is the, you know, my implementation. So, the, if you compare it with you know, the, the sorting algorithm in the previous one, uh, previous one. So the using the, you know, the integer array, everything is the same. But we just use you know, the string compare and the string copy functions. Alright? So, uh, so please remember that in the sorting algorithm because it can be arrays, can be applied to the, the, any of the, uh, how can I say that, uh, quiz or you know, the homework or the, the exam problems. Uh, then also in the string is important. All right. So the uh, any question? Any question for the the this one? Okay. So if you do not have a question, so the please you know, the practice you know, the some examples you have done in this exam in your home, and we will you know, keep continuing the next section. Okay. So thank you very much today.